So, Mr. Game Winner, Kenny Goins, good enough to join us now from East Lansing. So, Sunday afternoon, you hit the Game Winner. Sunday night, you fly home. Uh, basically, Monday early morning, there's the Breslin Center celebration. When did you go to bed? Uh, I found my time to sleep, you know, uh, get back. We, we were enjoying our time, celebrating with all the fans. It, it was great. Spartan Nation really showed out. And, uh, after that, we, we all were just exhausted from playing those games and getting and traveling, so we, we got our time to sleep in. Yeah, so 3 a.m., when do we fall asleep? Five? <laughs> uh, I'm not going to say on there for my <laughs> coach's sake. <laughs> okay, all right, fair enough. But you, you, you slept in late, though, is what you're saying. You got the hours yeah, you needed. Yeah, yeah. I got a solid eight, eight, nine hours. We're, we're good now. Right, so who cares if that was from 8 to 3 p.m., right? Whatever. <laughs> so let's go back to that amazing moment, right? Before you hit the game winner, you're only one of seven from deep in that game. So with a minute left in the game, where was your confidence level in your three-point shot? Uh, I was still feeling good, really. Um, between my coaches and my other teammates, they've all really kept me confident in myself. Every shot, they're like, oh, you know, look good. Next one's going down. Just keep shooting, stuff like that. So I was feeling still good. In the timeout, describe for me the atmosphere of that huddle right before <laughs> you ended up shooting it. Uh, it was pretty hectic. You know, everyone's trying to get their, their different opinions and words in. So you got four different coaches all kind of just talking, saying things here and there, and then coaches are really trying to bring it all back together. And also, you know, your mind's racing. So as soon as I heard the play, I kind of just, you know, drifted off a little bit, tuned them out a little, and, and started to focus on what I needed to do in these next couple seconds, really. When the actual shot happens, what do you most remember thinking and feeling in that moment? Uh, I remember that the play wasn't for me <laughs> as soon as I caught it. And, uh, you know, I was just open enough. I just let it go. And I remember as soon as it left my fingertips, it felt so good. I just, I, I kind of knew it was going in. And I started, like, thinking about celebrations and everything. And um, just when it finally, you got to actually see it go down, it was just, it was like a euphoric moment. And for three seconds, I literally was like, oh, we won the game. And then realized that we still had to play defense. <laughs> So crystallize this for everyone. So the first option was you passing to Tillman, right? What was was yeah. second Cassius? Were you fourth? Uh, I I don't know, third, fourth, fifth, <laughs> maybe. It was it was <laughs> somewhere down the line. But again, it kind of goes back to what my co with my coaches and teammates. Every all year they've been saying you got to be ready to shoot because you're you're one of the better shooters. You know, um, just always be ready to shoot. And in that moment, I guess I was ready. Safe to say, biggest basket of your life. Oh, absolutely. Doesn't even, nothing ever comes close to that. Well, let me ask you about some of your teammates. I, I'm going to give you the option. Do you want to talk about, from that Duke game, the Matt McQuaid power dunk? Or do you want to talk about, from that Duke game, the Matt McQuaid crazy spinning 360 shot? <laughs> How about both of them, huh? <laughs> what did yeah, you like about uh, it? No. Oh, man, the dunk, well, the dunk in, in general, I don't think anyone expected him to go <laughs> up like that. I, I'm, like, running down the court thinking, oh, you know, Matt McQuaid might get his his shot thrown off the backboard, but then he, at the end of the day, just rises up and throws it down. It, it caught us all off guard. I really had to second guess whether he actually dunked it or not. <laughs> and the and then, 360? Uh, yeah, with the layup, we were all of us were like, "Oh yeah, that's SE top ten right there." As soon as he, <laughs> as soon as we got a chance to relax and talk to him about it, you meant BTN standouts, but we get it. Uh, talk to me about yeah, same Cassius. Thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, talk to me about Cassius here. How would you describe what he was like in that game? Cassius was, uh, you know, the same thing he's been doing all year. You guys have seen it for a whole season now, just with his. Uh, Excellent passing and scoring ability, being able to take over games when we need them the most, but still staying as calm and collected as possible and really keeping us all level-headed. You know, after the game, I mentioned the celebrations you had on the court. You cut down the nets. You go to the locker room. Izzo dances. You're on the plane. All those people are at Breslin Center. What celebratory moment comes to your mind first when you look back on it? Uh, really just being able to, to have all of our families on the floor with us after the game. Uh, all the coaches' families, players' families came down, and um, I was just able, I, I went up into the stands to see my, my extended family, my aunt and uncle, cousin, uh, girlfriend, but uh, once I was able to see my parents down on the floor, that was a real magical moment for me. All right, on to the next one, right? You got Texas Tech coming up. It's still a handful of days away, but have you started examining what they do well and how you can attack it? 
Yeah, we, we've been back to work already. We started yesterday just looking at film and walking through a couple of things. And uh, today we got practice. So uh, we're going to try and figure out how best it is to handle their, their crazy defense and really high, high pace offense. And it's Tuesday now. So you head to Minneapolis when? Uh, tomorrow after practice, we'll be heading out. So Wednesday around 530. Well, listen, you, you hit one game winner. We're all expecting more from you now. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you guys are asking for a high price now. <laughs> Kenny Goins, congratulations on the shot. Best of luck in Minneapolis. Thanks, guys.